Hello. As you know, constructing an airplane is subject to very strict safety controls. Absolutely everything is checked and tested, notably the engines and all the equipment. So basically, as you'll have understood, every single part must be perfect. For that, they're inspected at each stage of their manufacture, but also throughout their shelf life, in a process known as non-destructive testing. NDT for short, it consists in testing pieces without altering them or modifying them in the aim of finding any defects which could cause a failure during a flight. Used in every high-tech sphere like the space industry, nuclear plants, railways, and civil engineering, NDT is used to test metal parts, but also new materials like composites. <clears throat> composites that we'll introduce to you in another episode. Depending on the type of part, its size, its material, or the nature of the defect sought, several complementary methods can be used. Firstly, there is surface testing. These methods aim to trace defects by directly inspecting and testing the surface of the part. Visual testing is clearly the simple form of NDT, and each of you already use it without realizing it. This can be done with just the naked eye, but it's more precise when you use a microscope or an endoscope. You know, that instrument fitted with a tiny camera that can squeeze in just about anywhere. <clears throat> One of the surface tests is called dye penetrant inspection. This consists in covering the part with a colored or fluorescent liquid. Penetrating the asperities on the surface, it reveals any defects present, like a micro fissure, but to inspect the inside of a part, so-called density tests are carried out. For this, inspectors use radiography, which you'll know from the hospital when you had an x-ray for a broken toe, for example, or for your teeth at the dentist's. While this technology has been around for some time, we can now combine it with tomography, which is able to reconstruct the part in 3D. For large parts or other types of anomalies, ultrasound is often used. This passes through the material and is also able to produce an image of the part. It's similar to the process used to examine a baby in the womb. And with digital, NDT is continuing to evolve. New ultra-innovative techniques are being developed, like here at the Saffron Tech Research Center. Its engineers have, for example, managed to combine infrared thermography a technique that consists in heating a part with a kind of big flash, with augmented reality. With an infrared camera, we can thus observe temperature variations as the part is cooling. This is notably used to test the nacelles of the LEAP engine, a world first, that reduces testing time by half. For sure, there are other methods that require great discipline and the intervention of certified operators. These operators undergo very precise training and must themselves pass tests every five years to keep their certificates. In short, it's a rapidly growing activity and all aeronautical industrialists are making it a priority. Because, as you already know, the reason for all this testing is flight safety. There, now you know everything, or almost. But before we go, Remember that although non-destructive testing has already stepped into the digital era, the real future is artificial intelligence. With it, testers will be assisted in their work and diagnostics will be... You're all good to go for takeoff. Even more relevant while being greatly simplified.